so now back we are. I to ask you some questions about your life, Susan. Very you confusing ever since I died. Personal. Is that but the answer you want? That you answer me as honestly as possible. Fine. Let's get it over with then, shall we? I'd like to go home at last. Of course, I understand. So, Susan, let's see. Are you living alone at the moment? Yes. I wa I rent a flat. It's quite lonely most of the time. I live on my own and it suits me just fine. I live with a friend. She must be worried about me. I live on my own and it suits me just fine. That's what she I said at first. So. People mostly bore me. Sometimes they annoy me or upset me. I'm happy with how things are at the moment. I have my little bit of space and it's my own. It's private. I'd like to keep it that way. What do you do for a living? I'm between jobs at the moment. I'm a waitress. I work in a cafe. Uh, does she have a job? Well, she can pay for an apartment, so she must have some income, so... What the fuck should I answer? I'm a waitress. Let's try a waitress. A Let's cafe. see what happens. You do? Do you like it? It's okay. I don't mind it. It's just a job. It's I thought you didn't like people. Keep busy. I'd advise you get back to work as soon as next week. I will. Describe to me what your mornings look like. What is the first thing you do each day? I drink strong coffee and smoke on the balcony. I eat breakfast, cereal usually. Have a cup of tea and read a newspaper. I lie in bed awake, can't bring myself to open my eyes. I go to the toilet, doesn't everyone? I put the TV on so I can watch old TV shows. I mean... I start my mornings watching TV. Well, not TV. I start my morning streaming shows. Like, trying to catch up to stuff I watch. So, I'll go with that I one. I put the TV on so I can watch old TV shows. There's nothing really that I must do. I tend to waste time. My life feels empty. So, in a way, I keep living the life of fiction. Oh, don't cut so deep. I'm I not here to get psychoanalyzed. I keep pretending I'm somebody else. Someone better. Am I making any sense? You are, Susan. But perhaps you are being too critical about yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just being honest. Don't think much of myself right now. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? Yeah, I suppose. I, yeah, I suppose. It's not really about safety. I've just felt sad for a long time now. Really sad, you know? Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. Okay, this is starting to cut a little deeper than I wanted. <laughs> I don't see it. It doesn't hurt that much. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? Well, Liz wasn't lying. This guy asks tricky questions and they give you way too many fucking answers. This is like... Does anyone remember when I played Blind Date? Back in February? That game that like actually psychoanalyzed you and punished you for talking shit about yourself? This is kind of like that. It would be nice to have more money, I guess. A good friend, someone I could finally trust. I know it's silly, but I wish I was better looking. Something to fight for. A reason to go on. Hmm. See, now I'm trying to answer it from my perspective instead of from hers, which I don't want to do that. Because none of these really apply. I mean, yes, this would be nice. It would always be nice. Uh, but I do have friends, personally. Plenty of them, and I love them. I guess that's, that's the easy I don't have an answer answer, you know? It would be nice to have more money, I guess. Sure, of course. Don't we all? Have you ever attended group therapy for depression 
or some other form of counseling. I'm not sure it's a good idea. Well, it is. Uh, therapy is always a good idea if you think you need it. Didn't help much, as you can see. Well, yes. I guess that's the other it answer didn't then. Didn't help much, as you can see. Just something to think about. I can see you're really willing to open up and talk about your issues. That's a positive sign. I... I haven't really talked about my feelings for a long time. You're doing very well so far. Do you have problems sleeping? See, okay, now my theory about this guy being the parasite is starting to crumble because he's way too genuinely good at this. Which is probably the point. Uh, I sleep well most nights. Rarely. Yes. I sleep well most nights. If anything, I probably sleep too much. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? I feel fine now. Definitely better than before the accidents. I feel like the whole world is against me. Um, <laughs> this is a kind of long game since the chat. From what I checked, um, it's uh, somewhere between six and seven hours long. So we're going to be playing it for a couple of sessions. Because this was genuinely, uh, generously gifted to me. I do want to finish it. Uh, definitely better than before this definitely accident. Definitely better than before the accident. Good. Hopefully you can now move on from here. With a bit of luck you will enjoy life again. Suicide attempts often have that effect on people. Same as near death experience. It makes you realize that you're not ready to die yet. Do you really? find it hard to concentrate? Yes. Sometimes. I answered that way too Do fast. Drink alcohol, Susan. God damn! This just keeps going, man. Why am I the one in therapy all of a sudden? Only sometimes. I'd suggest you don't consume any alcohol at all for a while. Does that sound like something you can do? Yeah. Easily. Sure. I'm not a big drinker anyway. Sometimes, when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? No, of course not. I don't know what got into me. It's hard to explain why I did it. I must have thought there was no other options left. Must I be never it. used to think about it or plan it. It just happened. As if I'd suddenly lost control. I knew what I was doing was wrong, and yet I was unable to stop it. Strange, isn't it? Please, in your own words, try to explain to me yes. why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? It's just a sudden impulse. I'm ashamed of it now. Nothing was making me happy anymore. I wanted to show everyone how hurt I was deep inside. Oh, hold on. We seem to be having a server problem. Everyone still with me? Uh, I think we lost connection for a second there. Let me know in the chats. Before I go on, let me know in the chat if, we're, if you're still with me. Okay, we did lose connection for a split sec. Cool. Well, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, nothing happened. It just lost connection. Sometimes there's a little hiccup like that. It only took like a, a second. But anyway, what should we say here? Because what she said in the beginning was that nothing I made her... To Fuck! I, I didn't mean to press that. enter, but oh well. Who did you want to know? Not even sure now. People. I, I didn't guess. mean to press that. I wanted Everyone to. Ah, oh, fuck. Myself. All right. I don't really know. Please ask me about something else. Do you feel as if you're a burden, or that life isn't worth living? Sometimes, when I feel really low, I just. I used to think everyone would be happier without me. But mm -hmm. I guess people don't really care. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What makes you feel better? 
My god, how long is this therapy? This is like actually being in therapy. And yes, I have been to therapy. My cats. Work used to make me happy. Antidepressant really did it. A long bath. Music. I play the piano when I'm feeling down. You know what? Having a hobby does tend to help, Music. so... I play the piano when I'm feeling down. It's also a signal for the local cats that the food's there. Ready local for cats? Them. So it's not even cats her own cats? Over when they hear the piano. What makes you feel worse? People. They've let me down so many times. I hate it when it rains all the time. Noise. Too much noise really upsets me. Loneliness. Wish you had something to talk to sometime. It's hard to say it could be anything. It's hard to say. It could be anything. Sometimes it could be just little things. The way my hair looks. Shoes I can't find. When I run out of milk. I get angry with myself for being clumsy. For not being able to cheer up and just get on with things. Like everyone else. Have you imagined your funeral and how people will react to your death? Never really thought about that. Probably nobody would come. I imagine often I hope people would feel guilty. None of these apply to me personally, so let's oh, just... I never really thought about that. But I guess it would be a cheap one. <laughs> I don't really know what they do with people like me. Maybe people like you? Maybe throw us in a hole and forget about it. Since there'd be nobody to visit my grave anyway. I don't think so, Susan. The city would pay for it. Or That's a very so practical answer. <laughs> Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Who the fuck Eric? is Eric? Yes, your husband. I believe this. Oh, there's a husband. Important. What can you tell me about your relationship? What had happened between you two? I don't really want to talk about this. This has nothing to do with him. Can I go home now, please? There's nothing to talk about. It's getting late. Can we talk about it some other time? Okay, so all of these are non-answers. So there's definitely something going on here that I have no influence on. This has nothing to do with him. Can I go home now, please? Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay, one more question. You said this was the last one! But I have to ask, are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. I don't know. But hey, I've got it. The answer is no, I'm not. Thank you very much. Well, that's the answer he wants to hear. We are nearly done here. There's just one more thing I must clear with you. What exactly happened last night? Well, after I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. She said we needed to talk. Oh, here comes something about Liz. We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. What? But please, you must follow me quickly. But that didn't happen. Well, well, wait. Am I playing this part? I went after her. The ward seemed very quiet. It must have been late at night. What is happening right now? Harry. Was this Wait while I was me. hallucinating? Tell me what's going on here. Oh, this is before this session, but after I Yeah, okay. That's what she just said. Were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, "You go first. I'll explain everything in a minute." Okay. Susan, if we don't escape now, they're going to hurt you. Please trust me. I know a way out of here. I'll help you escape. Let's go down this corridor. What? I'll be right behind you. I don't want you behind me right now. You're kind of freaking me out. I think I can hear someone coming. What is happening right now? Damn it. We can't go through there. Let's turn back, Susan. I know another way. I can't imagine that going well. 
turn left here. We can use the maintenance lift to get us out of this place. Aha. Uh -huh. Why do I not like the sound of that? What is going on? Am I in control here? What are we doing on the roof? Oh no. Liz. Oh no, 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 no. No! What the no! And why is there blood on your clothes? And you Liz. didn't see that before? It's quicker than the stairs. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. Are it's you the fucking only for real? Way out of here. The only escape. Let's both jump. It won't hurt. You'll oh see. my god! No! Get down from there! This is a bad idea. Come down and we'll talk. I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Besides, I have no one to live for anyway. No one ever listened to me. No one ever cared. Okay, now I feel really bad about Listen, sassing her before. Nice but I thought she was a nurse. I thought she was a way too chatty nurse. I didn't you realize she was a patient. Did you really? Of course I did. You talk a lot, but I've always been a good listener. I liked talking to you. So do you remember that story then? The one I told you the other night? Okay, let's see if the I paid fucking the attention. Woman in A and D? She disappeared and was later found dead in the toilet. The one who kicked the security guy in the crotch. She smoked a cigarette and burned in bed. Jumped off the roof and broke her spine. I do remember the cigarette and burned in yeah. bed. She smoked a cigarette and burned in bed. Okay. You have listened. Maybe you're right. No, I remembered that. Or maybe it was just a blind guess. But I must jump anyway. I have no choice. No, 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 no! Wait! Please stop and think for a second. Did you not hear what I said? I have no choice. Yes, you do. You can choose to come back inside with me. And we'll just forget this like it never happened. Okay? Do you remember that other thing ah, I told fuck. you? Ah, fuck. I'm sure I told you about my flatmates. Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? I bet you don't remember that. Oh shit. I did I don't think she did tell me this one. Stripper, bur burglar. Stewardess, waitress, stripper. Fuck. Yeah, I definitely didn't ask about this. Shit. Well, we have a 75% chance of this woman killing herself now. That is not a good position to be in. Fuck! I do not like this. This got real. Uh... <laughs> I'm really trying to remember if she actually did say something about her flatmates. <laughs> that's bogus game design. We could not have seen this situation coming, says the chat. Um, that's the point when it comes to the suicidal. Oh boy. She's a waitress. A waitress. <laughs> nope, that was <laughs> wrong. After all, you never listened. No, I didn't I ask did. this. I swear I did. I was really tired and drugged up. All that the time, too. So I can't remember exactly what you said, but it doesn't mean I don't care. You don't. Nobody does. My colleagues don't care. My family don't care. Even my fucking boyfriend never cared. He said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell you when he broke up with me? On your wedding day? <laughs> that would be a little extreme. Again, no, we haven't had this conversation. I'm pretty sure we didn't have this conversation. Fuck! Did 
she ever mention Christmas or Valentine's? I don't think she did. Damn. Yeah, that's right. I never asked her about herself. Fuck. But again, like, this game is really good at putting you in that situation. Because again, they put that whole thing immediately after you've had that whole weird otherworldly death experience. So it's not even necessarily that you don't care. Unless you're just very meticulously listening to everything in the whole game. But it's like, I have other things on my mind. <laughs> so this is neither her or the player's fault, really. That's really well done. Oh, fuck. Christmas Day? Christmas Day. Do you really think so? Nope. You're a liar. You never listen to a single word I say. You didn't say any of it! It doesn't really matter anymore. You didn't cause me this pain. This suffering. I have to do this to be free again. Jump with me, Susan. Do it while you still can. No. And she jumps. Shit. Ooh, I did not want that to happen. Ah, oh, that's awful. Ah, oh, that is awful! Well, I was warned this game would be a bummer. Ah, oh, fuck. After that, I went back. I tried telling people about Liz, but they all thought I was crazy again and didn't believe me. What? And you were absolutely sure you saw Liz jump off this building? You know, it doesn't matter. I just want to finish this and get some fresh air. Susan, I know Liz well. She wouldn't do something like that. As a matter of fact, I what? saw her this morning. She's fine. That I'd like you to come with me and see her. Say hi. Wait a second, Make what? Sure she's all right. Stop. Treating me like I'm crazy. Fine. I'll go. I don't even care that much anyway. The door is locked. I plan ahead, Susan. I had a feeling in my uh -oh. gut and my gut's never wrong. I feel like I really got to know you though. I'm very sorry you've had such a uh -oh. difficult life. I Take a step back. Eyes and your sleek oh, I fucking knew it. Susan, but the sadness has poisoned you for too long. There is no coming back from it. You creepy fucking bastard. For what it's worth, I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay! No, that's fine! Okay, then! Where am I? Am I back in Death World? Cord. I wonder what this rope does. Whoa, hello. Oh, that's wonderful. No, that I love it. I love it. I love being watched like this. Who, who are you? I am the devourer of thoughts. I will let you out of the room unless you come on free. I trust you. Is that so? Doors. I can't see them. Just walk back to the right side of the stage. I believe this is an ambush. 
So over here. Two doors. Um, hello. What? Whatever they are, tell them to stop staring. Oh, is this a uh, one is a liar thing? There's always a problem. I'm not even surprised. Which door should I go through? I will leave that to Susan's own best judgment. But this might be an only chance to find what she had lost. Please. And Susan will never get it back. Susan has one question. And she can only ask one of them. She must use it wisely. Fine. I can do that. But what's the catch? One of them is a liar and one always tells the truth. My god, I heard the answer to this one once, and I've forgotten it. I'm looking it the fuck up. And I'm guessing you can't tell me which is which? It's something I've forgotten myself a long time ago, Susan. But does it really matter? What are the questions all Susan needs to find the right door? Wait, hold on. I'm actually trying to remember it now without just looking it up like a cheap ass, cuz... Isn't it that I just ask one of them what which door would the other one say I should take? Yes it is, because if I say that, then the liar will say the wrong door. And the one that speaks the truth will say the wrong door. And then I gotta take the opposite of what the answer is. Yeah, what would the other one say? That's the one. <laughs> poke. Let's poke him. That'll teach you to stop staring. You horrible, ugly, dull. <laughs> I would love if you just answered, that's not nice. Something like that. But okay, ask. Which door should I answer? Which door will lead to my reward? Which door will take me back to my world? Is the door to the left the one I should open? Which door would the other doll point me to? Which door would the other doll point me to? So I gotta take this one. Is... Is this supposed to be my reward? The great reward! I did flowers. it right! I hate flowers! You lied to me! I think there's a yeah. trick to this, Susan. Oh, okay! Hello! The fuck? Well, aren't you a sack of shit? All right, out I go. Oh, what the hell? We're back here? Am I supposed to blow out another candle or? But I didn't do anything. I didn't kill Dr. X. I guess we better just blow out a candle. Are these my chances? Oh, whoa! What? I have officially lost track of what the fuck is happening. What? Um, 
open it. I got oopsie daisy. Did not like that. Am I making another blood sacrifice right now, or what's happening? And her eyes open. Yep. So what, am I just gonna wake up on Dr. X's floor now? Oh my god! Yeah, that's- that's- just about the right reaction. You treacherous, dirty bastard. I opened my heart to you, and you stabbed me to death in cold blood. They will You're pretend to be your this. friend. I swear you will. But this means the old woman was right. I can't die. I'm immortal. I think it's time to find out how very mortal you are, Doctor. Okay. We've been playing for a little over two hours. I really want to finish this fucking chapter, but I have no clear idea how much more of it is left. <laughs> like... Ah, fuck it. Let's... It's the suicide note I wrote. Why would it be up on this wall? My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. Oh, that's nothing more. Okay. He brings his victims down here in the hospital body bags. Another unlucky victim of the killer. This one looks like she's been dead for a long time. Well, this person has an iron bar, so I'll just take that. Mine. Let's get the fuck out of here. Not here. What do you mean not here? I gotta get out. Oh, this cocky bastard. I mean, I guess he's used to people being dead when he brings them here, but... What a cocky asshole! Uh-oh, someone else is screaming. Saw blade? Wait. I can't find it again. Fuck. I guess I have to turn on the light to keep the saw blade. I'm trying to take it. <laughs> I like that the screen comes every time I go out. Okay, I guess I have to somehow keep the light on in here to... Oh, I'll take the soap. Don't know what I need it for, but... Stop with that. Yeah, the second I try to take it, the light goes out. Okay. Oh, hello! I'm sorry, what the fuck? Oh god. I've seen something like this before. The living paintings. Except here is a dead body suspended on wires and tied to a chair. What the hell? Uh, Was it supposed to do that? The Mona Lisa. She used to be used... It seems he used a lot of makeup to make her into this spitting image of Mona Lisa. He did talk about paintings earlier. Oh my god! Another poor victim of the Mad Doctor. There's something shiny on one of her fingers. I mean, I guess we should take it. I could pull it off the thing if the finger wasn't so swollen and stiff. So use the soap. It's not a bad idea, but the soap is dry as bone, so I gotta wet it. Alright, cool. Girl with a pearl earring. I don't know this painting. Her limp body is positioned in the exact same way as the painting. It seems the killer used a wire to keep her head tied inside. Jesus Christ. What's in here? Let's open it quietly. Take the wrench. Okay, I, I, I've got to go grab the so- Okay, I was actually going to take a call in about 10 minutes, but, uh... Fuck it. we got to finish this. Let's go and get... The soap wet. 
Oh my god, there's more shit over here. Oh, I, I remember this painting. Well, it's not a painting right now. This was in uh, Layers of Fear, too. The body is quite badly decomposed. Uh, that's sick, man. How did he manage to hide all this madness? Yeah, that's a good question. I guess he couldn't get a hold of an ermine, so he used this creepy baby doll instead. Take the doll's head. You should probably find some use for this. Oh my god, is this a huge-ass puzzle? Danger sign. Seems this place has been closed down a long time ago. One day when they eventually demolish it, all this evidence will get buried deep in the past of rubble. Jesus. God, there is so fu- Oh, there's Liz! But it's impossible. I spoke to her last night. I tried to stop her from jumping. Yet here she is stuck to a metal rod, looking like she's been dead for a lot longer than that. Wait, was she a ghost? Her pockets are empty. I hope at least you will find some peace in death. Yeah, at least don't let her lie like that. What's in here then? Must be my the only way out of here. But I'm betting I can't use it. Locked. Yes, of course. Okay. Shit just got very, very real. Alright, soap. Use. Uh, turn the tap on. Of course. Run. I don't... I don't think it matters what water I use. Okay. Covered in lather. It might be useful for something. Okay. Jesus Christ. Will you stop screaming? <laughs> at hand. Oh, wait. I was supposed to... Okay, cool. I'll just take this ring. I gotta examine all my shit. Suppose he used it for setting up his real painting scenes. Creepy doll's head has got a hole at the bottom where it's attached to... where it was attached to the torso. It's a short iron bar. And not. It's a metal knot I took off the dead girl's finger. Okay, so we need that in the wrench soon. But for what, I wonder. Okay, let's move on. I don't need eyes to enjoy your fear. Scream what? Louder, little bitch. Scream your lungs out. Oh my god! Louder, I said. Wait, did he lose his eyes? <laughs> what is happening? Yes, this is by far my favorite of songs. Would you like me to dance for you? Unlike you, I know all art needs to be appreciated. What Your the screen is like a Oh he's wearing a mask. A Why? Word. He's convinced I'm dead and no one knows about this place. Looks like you just made a bigger stake, you arrogant Your asshole. Body, in the instrument. I never thought you had it in you. And yet you make every fiber in my body tremble with excitement. Your body will forever be admired by those like me who understand the only pure and true form. Oh my god, this went out last really fucking fast. <laughs> Can I just thunk him with the wrench or something? I shouldn't get too close without a weapon. He can't see me, but he can still hear me. Attack. I wouldn't stand a chance. He'd just kill me again. I need a weapon. I would say I have a fucking wrench. But okay. Apparently that's not good enough. And an iron bar, for that matter. Was there something about this one? Killer used wire to keep her... Okay. No. So not yet. And I think there's a door we haven't been through over here, actually, so... Yes, there is. Skeleton. Examine. Fake skeleton. Probably been used for teaching before it ended up here. Bolts. Large metal bolt lies on one of the shelves. Let's take it. An easel. The doctor probably considers himself quite an artist. Workbench. Use. So what, then? We have a nut and a bolt. 
and a doll's head. Do we screw the doll's head? Not quite sure what to do with it. Nope. Can't do anything with that. Wouldn't work. I'm just kind of trying my hand here, because... Oh, I have two. Oh, I can tie them together. Is that it? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be building here. Yeah, put them together. The bolt needs to be secured in place now, otherwise it will fall apart. So, am I just building a longer rod? Why couldn't I just attack him with the wrench? Oh, she made a spear. That makes more sense. Still, though, I'd say she could just have hit him with the fucking wrench. All right, well, let's attack this fucker. I wouldn't stand a chance he'd just kill me again. I need a- I HAVE A WEAPON! You'll feel a sharp scratch. What's up? <laughs> I can choose a one-liner? Oh my god! Do you believe in karma, Doc? See you in hell. Say nothing. You know what? I'm not gonna take a chance on alerting him. Let's just fucking kill him. As tempting as a one-liner was. Probably not the smartest idea. You finally got what he served. I hope he rots in hell. Untie her. I don't even need to look at her first. Just get her out of there. Uh, why is it Thank pitch? You. Oh, Thank you so much. He would have... He would have killed me. Like the other... The animal. You, you gave him what he deserved. Yeah, I'd say so. Who are you? My name is Susan Ashworth. They call me the cat lady. Wow, I could just go full fucking vigilante here, can't I? It doesn't matter. Forget you ever saw me, just go. I mean, yeah, this is totally an I'm Batman moment. <laughs> the fuck? My name is Susan Ashworth. Now get out of here. Call the police. I'm going home. Wouldn't the fact that I gave her my name fuck things up forever? Okay, chapter three. So we're done with chapter two. Wow, that was, uh, that was something all right. And we're stopping here. I can't go on. I, I need a break. <laughs> but this is... This definitely stopped being boring and got right to the crazy stuff. Standing by the river, I Can I in know. any way stop this and just pick Can it up later? Stone? Do I have a save menu or anything? No. My heart is heavy. This better auto save. Drag me down for sure. I don't have time for more dialogue at one end! I'm just standing here now. Okay. Can I end, please? Can I just turn the game off? My god. Finally, I'm back home. I will be safe here. You say that, but I should wash off all the horrible memories of this night. I mean, yeah. I'm dying for a shower, something to eat, some coffee, a cigarette. I'd love to see my cats, too. Let's just pretend for a minute that everything is back to normal. I survived. Maybe now I can try to enjoy little things in life. Okay. Yeah, I can do this, one step at a time. Alright, then. Let's save. Oh my god! I didn't save this whole time. That could have gone horribly. Alright, we're saving. Type name. Press enter to save. Right arrow to cancel. Okay. There we go. 